Hi, this is Rich Midhoff. Welcome to a Geometrics tutorial on how to build a franchise or sales territory. So, from the home page of Geometrics, click Strategy Map. And once the map is loaded, we're going to zoom into the area that we want to create our territory. If this is a franchise company, what I'd suggest is organize everything by state. It's not a requirement, but it is a recommendation. That way you have a manageable list of territories per hierarchy. And so now what we're going to do is go up to the markets panel, click on the menu button, go down to add new territory hierarchy, and we're going to give this a name. So I'm going to have my territories as counties. If you need to change that to zip codes, that's easy to do. Just change that up there. We'll leave it at counties. And I'll just call this Florida. And we'll just continue directly to the map. There's other tricks that you can do and restrict geographies and things like that. Let's say you wanted just to have all the counties just in Florida. You could do that as well. But for now, we'll just stick to the state of Florida and all the counties within that. So from the alignment panel, all we need to do is go over to the menu, click Add New Territory, and we'll give this a name. So I'll just call this Territory 1. If I need to give it a description, I can. We'll click OK, and then now we have a territory ready to be created. Now that we have Territory 1 ready to be created, it'll probably be a little bit more useful to me if I have some data in that. So I'm going to go down to the Choose Variables link from the Menu button. And I'll grab some simple data here, like population. Let's get some counts of businesses. And, and then maybe we'll also just get some specific population by age data. We'll look at 65 plus. So I know it's kind of a mishmash of data in here, but this will give you an idea of how you can view the data in that territory while you're creating it. So I'm going to widen out my alignment panel, and now there's a couple different ways I can select the areas to build those territories. So I'm just going to use my individual select tool, and we'll start hovering over some zip codes. And you see as I hover over the zip code, it's going to bring back the data for that zip code that corresponds with my alignment panel. And as I select multiple counties, I'm actually holding my shift key. So you can see each one that I've selected now is uh, highlighted with a black square. You can see that I have six selected here. And I'm going to have a three and a half million population, 129,000 businesses and my population of 65 and older is 680,000. So let's say this looks good for my territory. I'll go ahead and accept the changes. So now territory one is complete. It's now colored with that dark blue color. If I don't like that color, I can just click the color swatch next to it and give that another color. So, so I just lightened it up and changed the color very easily. So let's say we want to add one more territory, go back to the menu, add new territory, give it a name. And we can add another territory. So now what we can do is I'm going to use another tool. Let's say I use my polygon select tool. And with this, what we're going to do is start in one corner of the territory. It doesn't have to be precise, but what you need to do is make sure that the area that you want to grab, say for instance we're, we're grabbing counties, you're just encompassing the center point of that territory, or that county rather. And then once we get to you know, an, an area where it's shaded it all in, you can see this kind of sticks to my, uh, my mouse, but I'll just go ahead and double click and it'll select that entire area. And I'm going to go ahead and accept my changes. So the next step for creating those territories manually is saving it. 
So what you don't want to do is cancel out. This is a browser, so I mean, if you close your browser, everything that we do is going to be lost. So what we want to do is make sure that you go up to your markets panel and click the OK button. One of the nice features of Geometrics is anytime you save your territories, it's going to record that version for you. Or if I'm keeping good notes on my territories, if I ever need to go back to a prior version, I'll know which one to go back to. Added two territories in Florida. And we'll click OK. And we're done. So that is the extent of building those territories. If we ever need to go back to those territories, I just simply go to my uh, geography link in the markets panel. And you'll probably won't see it already selected in here, but you'll see this screen with all your territories. And I just select the territory that I want, click on Florida, and then hit a line, and it'll take you right back to that, that location. So hopefully this helps show how to build territories from scratch. We'll have some other videos showing you some, some tips and tricks on Geometrics uh, coming shortly. Thank you for your time.